Hello, this is the tutorial for assembling the jack-o'-lantern little treat bucket and I am using Loctite Super Glue. You can get this at Home Depot or Michaels, Lowe's, pretty much anywhere. You can get it from Amazon too. So I just have this loosely assembled, just have the pieces where I want them. And how I painted it was just some chalk paints and then I used the art crayon it's the art crayon here and I just went along the edges with that and you can see it has like that black outline around the edge so I just take this crayon and just rub it along the edge and you can get these on Amazon as well and if you have any questions I can also um, put the link in there um, I found this one at a local uh, craft store so um, it's got a lot of a lot of use. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take all these off. I had them all where I wanted to make sure everything was good before I started the assembly. So everything's all painted the way I wanted it. Um, and if you have any questions, I do have some tutorials on how to create that black outline. I have a few others, so just use those art crayons. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and take these off, set them over to the side, and these are my pieces to my candy corn. I want to keep those together, and if you notice, there are score lines, and it shows you exactly where to place everything, so you can see those lines there. I'm just going to go ahead and take all these off, and you'll be able to see all that. There we go, and you can see there's the triangle right there for the candy corn. I'm just gonna go ahead and set these over here. And these little pieces, they're um they're kind of filler pieces, so it creates more of a 3D look. And I'm just gonna set them all off to the side. What I did was I painted these individually and then I just went ahead and used my art crayon. You can also use um, black paint. What I did was um, to get in between those spots, I took black chalk paint and then just kind of rubbed it along the edges too. So that's another option you can use for creating that black outline. I like the art crayon. It's really easy to use and you don't really have to do much else to it. Um, it's, it really just goes on nice and easy. And then you can use your fingers um, to blend that out. I like to use a brush like this, one of these um, style brushes to create these lines on the pumpkin. I just gently dab it in some black chalk paint and then rub it along the edges. And I'll bring this closer so you can see it. And I just um, go around the edges with that big, huge brush and I like the ones with the really um, thick bristles, so it has that nice um, uh, texture on there. And then I just make sure to rub the paint off onto something else so you don't have too much paint. And then you just go ahead and rub it lightly along those edges. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this off so you can see how I painted it underneath. And there are score lines so you know exactly where to paint. I got a little bit of grass here. My uh, lawn more people come through and um, it gets a little grassy in here so you see exactly where to um, place these um, I can still see the score lines it might be hard to see um, on camera but um, I can definitely see where to put those pieces so I'm gonna go ahead and put these pieces back and you can see how that goes and you can see you can see those lines and it shows you exactly where to place those and you don't have to paint the entire thing, just the spots that are going to show through. And there you go. So then you just go ahead and place your candies on and you are good to go. All right, I'll go ahead and glue this and get it listed. All right, thanks, bye. 